So with proper breathing, obviously I use the RPR, reflexive performance reset breathing concepts. And the purpose of breathing is to excrete CO2, not all of it though. Um, many people breathe two to three times more air than normal, caused by stress, lifestyles, overheated homes, lack of fitness. Many of that, much of this stuff and research comes from um, the oxygen advantage. Um, now, one of the big thing is the amount of O2 available depends on the amount of CO2 in the blood. It's called the Bohr effect. Um, the goal is to increase tolerance of um, of high CO2, high oxygen. Uh, holding breath during the exercises that I mentioned leads to drop in O2 saturation, which then turns around and produce more red blood cells to offset the effects. Um, mouth breathing, you're more sympathetic. Um, with chest breathing and mouth breathing, it causes amount uh, stress that's not good stress um activates uh the mouth breathing activates chest breathing reduces um o2 intake uptake in the arterial blood causes low oxygen levels concentration i get this from again the book is oxygen advantage dan frichter mentioned it to me um he's not the author so the big thing is the Bohr effect will, again, increase the amount of oxygen through CO2. Now, breathing for performance. Again, one of the things that uh, I mentioned in the previous videos was that you can uh, decrease oxygen saturation levels. And I did it with, uh, with uh, great results in your fitness ability. We basically did this in our GPP block one. You can click on that. Um, m many of my kids may have gotten altitude sickness signs um, in regards to after the workout by holding your breath. And again, we hold the breath with all the air pushed out of your lungs. That's when I finally got um, the low oxygen levels. Okay. And we do this especially on download weeks and we essentially did it every third or fourth exercise in the circuit. Okay. Um, one of the unique things you can see help and how you can measure uh, again. I mean, people ask me how I come up with all this stuff. I, I, I don't come up with it. I just measure it and find out what's the best ways to implement it. But you can test bolt scores and breathing volume. Now, when you first, when you do this, you're just laying there, you calm down and you'll basically watch your stomach move um, nice and calmly. And then you'll breathe out and you'll try to hold your breath and you'll try to go as long as you can with the breath out until your body tries to breathe on its own and causes a reaction and a lot of um, times you'll be 10 seconds or less okay and then by the end of these training cycles with the right breathing training you can get athletes that, that will lay there and not move and their body won't gasp for air for 40 seconds again this is just natural it's not like you're trying to hold it too much okay you're you're natural you're trying to stop breathing but that gas for air should be a natural thing and this is this is a huge correlation in your efficiency your resting heart rates i have many athletes with a 32 to 36 resting heart rates and this is part of the process okay now and with that being said you have to remember training is a process so many power lifters or other sport coaches that do short sprints will say um i don't need that much aerobic training um i would it's not to get faster or powerful it's to be able to train longer and harder and resist um the training load so that they can get a greater response from them this is what you'll see in uh, many cases